Moon Kitty here. Sunnyfall and I recorded this episode back in February, so there will be a few differences in our clan gen version from where they're currently at, like us not having a prey pile and a few other things. Additionally, this footage was recorded a little bit lopsidedly, so while this one will be about normal length, my next one might be quite a bit shorter. Either way, picking up where we left off last time. Let's time skip. Tree Star is really surprised that Weed Kid's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. <laughs> wow! Yeah, okay, Tree Star. Weed Kid's unique sprite is really cute, though. Darling Kid, he's really extra fluffy today! <laughs> oh, I think kittens are the best part of the game. You're a massive kitten fan, Sunny. I am an extremely big kitten fan. It does not take much to get me to like a kitten. The colors seem to have changed a lot between being a kitten and being oh, a yeah. and gold kit. Yeah, gold, gold kit definitely changed. You're not that gold anymore. Uh, maybe the eyes are? Are the eyes gold? Oh, yeah. eyes gold. Okay. Are you going to be called gold eyes? gold gaze. No one's allowed to call you gold pelt or gold tail, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you're a know-it-all. Oh, sweetie. This and is gonna be a fun generation of kittens. <laughs> Concerning how often everyone is hungry lately. Yeah. Is, uh, is it like, summer? Or winter? I'm... It's spring. It's spring. Is there a prey pile? Does it say anywhere how much food we have? I don't think so. I don't think that's a feature of this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't click on the clearing or anything. No. I do not know. We can see that we have a million everything. Yeah. We, we have the herbs. Herbs we've got. <laughs> Angst? Angsty. They're fierce, but quick to make peace. Yeah, you probably are having some angst moments. Maybe she's using her fierceness to make the peace. <laughs> you and Birchpaw are extremely close. I am glad. Birchpaw dislikes Barry? Why? Quite a bit. Let's see. Yeah. Birchkit argued with Barry in front of other cats and revealed something embarrassing. So I'm guessing Birchkit um, started a big fight with Barry and uh, embarrassed himself. <laughs> Apparently. Kind of dislikes Goldkit. Not terribly fond of Goldkit. Dang it. He's not even gold. <laughs> All they can do is try to not make the same mistake twice. You're a good mentor. Oh. I like you, Fidget Dapple. Marigold Leaf, Trouble Fox, and Sand Pool. I'm just picking everyone with an accessory this time. The accessory club goes herb gathering. Exactly. Oh, that's a very... That's a good rabbit. That, that's differently detailed. Um, don't hunt on another clan's territory, though. That That's just asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't... Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come pretty close. Maybe we could antagonize someone. When oh. we have five warriors instead of five kits, maybe. Panel Spots receives dry herbs and decides to keep it on their pelt. Oh, Just some little, little leaves. Little, little leaves. Little yellow leaves. Well, that's nice. Myrtle Dash you can join the accessory. Club. <gasps> Myrtle Dash is in love. In love. Elder meets. Oh. I'm sorry, Sunny. I'm sorry old people found love today. No, I love it! I'm glad you two love each other. That's really sweet. I don't know how much longer Myrtle Dash is for this world, though. <laughs> yeah, but they've been with us since the beginning, and both of them have had very tumultuous relationships over time, but they, they found solace in each other. Platonic love and security is really high in these two. Bramble Kestrel took food from a two-leg this time. Yeah, but look at Bramble Kestrel, who isn't ashamed, if you remember, of I Bramble remember, Kestrel's yeah. Past. No shame over that past. Mm hmm. That's just what you have to do sometimes. Moss Trot got heat stroke? No. 
Scarlet Kid's feeling better, though. Gold Kid is playing pretend. What do you mean you're lonesome? You have four other den mates! Well, it's the personality is lonesome, so maybe it means that Gold Kid just feels lonely all the time. I'm sorry, sweetie. You should start interacting with people, then. <laughs> Garlic Kid is charming. <laughs> Weed Kid is extremely pretty. <laughs> Burdock Kid is still extra fluffy. Does a day go by where Burdock Kit is not fluffy? Absolutely not. It, it's a fact of reality. Oh no! Oh, no! Be fluffy somewhere else. <laughs> That's Burdock Kit. Scarlet Kit is the one who just got over a headache and wants take to a take nap a nap. Somewhere else. <laughs> uh, Sleek Claw wants to get to know Burdock Kit. Is the floof appealing? Sweetie, you just got a mate. He loves you. Burns Paws wanting to break unbearable custom. Oh, that'll go great. Completely deserved. They'll show you for taking that two-leg food. <laughs> Killing all the younger cats. <laughs> so, you're only 35 moons old, Moss Trot. It wasn't too long since you were the clan baby. Today we're being righteous. That seems like a pointed comment, Marigold Leaf. <laughs> Marigold Leaf is the anti ramble Kestrel. <laughs> I wonder how Trouble Fox is doing. I'm not gonna ask him, but I'm grateful Sweetie. to Lycan Talon. <clears throat> not Sandpool, though? It went back up, it went back up. Oh, gosh darn it. Chestnut, you're aware this isn't gonna work, right? <laughs> Oh, don't worry about a sand pool. There's so many kits, I can't imagine one of them's not going to end up in the medicine den. Advanced combat techniques. All right, well, you know what? Let's do it. Advanced combat te techniques time. I think, um, we'll add you guys because you wanted to talk, and, uh -huh. um, Bramble Kestrel could probably take on an advanced combat technique. Let's go. I don't know if Birchpaw's ready for that. <laughs> Come on, Birchpaw. Okay. Wolf Fade suggests this might be a good chance for cats to practice teamwork, particularly with Birchpaw. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Birchpaw actually- uh, Bir Birchfall. Birchpaw actually kept up. Mm-hmm. And these guys can, uh... Buckpaw and Fidget Dapple are doing normal on weird training. Yeah. They meet a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like Fidget Dapple. <laughs> growing on you. Oh, yeah. Tree Star has recovered from birthing. Everyone has recovered from everything. That's amazing. Camp- wait. Camp was supposed to be safe, but Moss Trot found bees trying to form a hive in the corner of camp. Annoyed by their buzzing, Moss Trot attacks them and got swarmed by bees. This is entirely Moss Trot's fault. Bugpaw fought a fox, but was barely even hurt. They're a bit scraped up, but a few scrapes are better than claw marks. You're not even the medicine den. Yeah, Mostrat is fine. He just decided oh, that today I will fight every bee. <laughs> wow, you... I'm not sure the very clever Mark is correct there. <laughs> He's only competent at being very clever. Right, okay. <laughs> Winked cheekily at another apprentice? You mean your sister? <laughs> Bramble Kestrel's probably doing things to this cat's brain. Get out of here, mud kit. <laughs> <laughs> I only wanted to get to know Bord Burdock Kit. No one else. Wood Tiger's a Wait, little wasn't, scary looking. Wasn't it Burdock Kit that Lycan Talon ended up liking as well? Is shocked Birchpaw doesn't know more about slugs. <laughs> <laughs> but Mudkit knows everything about oh, slugs. Oh, Mudkit knows all the details. I can't believe you don't even know the slugs. I. Come on. I, I don't pay attention to slugs. I, I, I like catching prey. When you learn how to catch a slug, come back and talk to me. Do you know how to catch a slug? I know how to catch slugs. I know how to catch snails. I can catch crickets. And once, I even caught a feather. So don't even... Don't, don't, don't even... Have you ever caught a mouse? Where do you think I'm going to find a mouse in camp? Come on. Come on. Okay. You haven't had any training yet. And yet, I can catch almost everything. You know what? You know what, kid? Wait until you become an apprentice. Let, then let me know how much time you have for catching slugs. 
You will regret the day you said that to me, Birchpaw. Sweetie, yeah. you have... You, th there's two apprentices and four other kittens. Go and talk to one of them. Okay, but like, what if all the other kittens are friends with each other and... But you can be friends with them real? too. You you can be friends with them too. What if they're all closer with each other than they are with Gold Kit? Well, they definitely will be if you don't talk to them. Gold Kit kind of knows uh, Gold Kit's sister, <laughs> and dislikes Mud Kit. Oh boy, talk to someone. I don't like you much either, Gold Kit. Oh, gosh. I don't even know your name, and I know everything, it, except for most of the cats in the clan and how to do any of the warrior skills and what the territory looks like. I, I mean, yeah. Funny enough, he actually likes Birchpaw. <laughs> Cold Kit said something that rubbed Mud Kit the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Sure, sure. I would like Gold Kit and um, how about Burdock Kit? Lonesome and Nervous. They now trust each other just the tiniest bit. As a caring adult in this clan, I think the kittens need friends. <laughs> Gold Kit stops, stops sitting alone all day. <laughs> Archpaw is in awe of Bramble Kestrel. Well, I mean, it's hard not to be. Who isn't? Come on. Oh, proceed, proceed. Oh, Aww. no. That one where they get hit by the car seems to happen a lot. Yeah. Oh. Cats will be uh, sick, hurt for longer, and have a higher chance of dying. Uh, Myrtle Dash is suddenly struck by a sharp pain in her chest. They are found later that day cold. Oh, sweetie. Oh, everyone's getting sick again. Ra Wait, Rattlespots has drawn the ire of Mudkit by deliberately taking the last of their favorite nesting materials? I'm so sorry. Tree Star is telling jokes about Gold Kit. Why? Why do you have a problem with this completely lonely child? This is not new for Tree Star's behavior. It's not, but Tree Star, what is it with you and kittens? <laughs> Tree Star's a natural bully. He can't help himself. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, Mud Kit is a part of which litter? Oh, Mudkit is in Tree Star. Tree Star and Sandpool's litter, okay. For a second, I was worried Rattlespots was making fun of their own kitten. Mud, Mudkit oh, swears they're never, never wrong, wrong about, about anything. <laughs> I'm sure you aren't, Mudkit. You're, you're a good little baby. Mudkit is kind of hysterical, though. I kind of love Mudkit. <laughs> Mudkit's the best. <laughs> You know, I don't oh. think that we've seen the relationships of um, Marigold Leaf. Marigold Leaf, yeah. Oh, best a, buds with Moss Trot. Moss Trot, really? Let's see your relationship. Wants to critique Rattlespot's fighting techniques. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Chestnut got sweet. old. Chestnut. Hi. <laughs> oh, baby. Had to fix an argument between the kids again. Gee, I wonder who that's <laughs> whose fault that was. Hmm, I wonder. Tree Star feels bad they caused a problem for Garlic Kit. Not but bad about not Gold about Kit. Not Jones about Gold about Kit gold at all. Kit. No, no, they're fine. Patrols! Okay, okay. Um, so guy... Marigold Leaf, Moss Trot, Bumble Flame. Alright, let's go hunt. ahead. Okay. Well, that goes well. Someone else who needs to hunt is Birchpaw. Indeed. Oh, a bird. Oh, you did get a bird. That's great. Yes. Wonderful. Bird success. Oh, Birchpaw's made a warrior already. Birch splash. Oh, man, early. Wow. I guess uh, because they did well in training. Well, because, I mean, Bramble Kestrel's a fantastic mentor. But, uh, poor b Oh, has to Kitten stand Cough. Oh. Kitten Cough is going around. The entire dang place is filled with Kitten Cough. Sandpool feels better, though, so there's enough medicine cats currently. Yeah. Oh, Garlic Kit! 
I'll be bees. All the sick kitten sprites are too precious. Wow, Spook really will not stop mewing. Hi, honey. I hate it when doors are closed. <laughs> Mudkit. 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 If none of you become a medicine cat, I will be shocked. If none of them become a medicine cat, uh, maybe we could switch burdock kit. I was thinking about that, maybe, but... Yeah, it could work. Meanwhile, dislikes gold kit just like everybody else. <sighs> really? What's what's so bad about gold kit? It's so um, weird. Just stares at everybody. Uh, burdock kit. For burdock kit's profile, can we see it? Would it be weird for Sandpool to train her kit as the next medicine cat? It wouldn't be weird for Lycan Talon. Uh, true. Lycan Talon could do it. How would Sandpool feel about <laughs> Burdock Kit being trained by Lycan Talon? I mean, like, it wouldn't be any weirder than the whole leaf pool thing. It's true. I think, like, like, like it's not like they're being... You, you seem no. very, very adverse to the parent-child mentorships. No, I just think it, it could go badly, but it could also be fine. I think nepotism is funny, personally. It's it definitely adds intrigue. Wait, do, uh, does Birch probably do, what? Well, Birch Splash, Birch Splash still looks like that because they're young. Yeah, they're only eleven. Oh wow. A dog. Uh nope. Too late. Nope. Oh. He killed the dog. Oh, uh, drove away the dog. The dog has been murdered. D driven away. Dog is dead. Th there's a living dog somewhere. <laughs> Bug Pog became Bug Dawn. Oh, that's a cute name. Oh, and look at how fluffy she is. You are so fluffy. I was just curious about uh, a flicker. The dead, uh, the dead mother here. Oh yeah, you're pretty actually. She was only 15 months old. All right, so Burdock Paw got given to Tree Star. Garlic Paw to Trouble Fox. <laughs> what tiger probably would tell scary stories? Mud Paws under Moss Trot. Moss Trot? That's book dumb. Um, what? Hold on a second. Oh, we lost two We We Kid and Gold Kid both went to... Oh, no! Wow. No. We lost. I was really excited for you two. We lost the lonely one, even. No. I'm so sorry. Okay, I am going to switch um, Burdock Kit to Lake and Helen. Uh, because I'm worried about how many cats we have and how many. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fair. It's not even in all cases, but sp especially the leader saying, I need to mentor my kid because no one else in the clan is qualified. That's that's just like, that's just fun world world, world building though. Like I love, it I is, love the but... idea of like, like, you know, people not being good people. Uh, yeah, I just don't agree with your decision there, Tree Star. That's not a good choice. <laughs> it looks like Mudpaw became compassionate. Oh. <laughs> Which is less funny, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> and Burdock Paw is still nervous, and that's not going to let up anytime soon, uh, thanks to who is mentoring you, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I, I'm, I'm really waiting for Wolfade to lose her tail. <sighs> Wolfade will still be cute without a tail. It's true! I, I'm just not holding my breath that she'll be able to come out of that den with her tail intact. Alright, Trouble's gonna take both these guys out because I just messed up. Ah! <gasps> Lovely! See, I can catch anything. You you caught one vole. One. A bit silly looking as an adult, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd look better if you didn't tip yourself over. <laughs> Alright. We'll have a we'll have a tipping over for sure. Oh, so we just get all of the tip over cats? Now we can have a walking patrol. 
having a stroll, a stroll patrol, you could say. Are you choosing the patrols based on Poe's position? That was the stroll patrol. Okay. <laughs> this is the strut patrol. The strut patrol, here we go. And now Finally, we have the sit patrol. The sit patrol, where we sit. <laughs> okay. Rattlespots was sharing pre prey with a rogue, which apparently didn't go well because then a oh. dog attacked Rattlespots. That would be bad. But Wolfie's tail is better. Cute. Trouble Fox appreciates Marigold Leaf. That's wonderful. Aww. Who he doesn't actually know all that well. Yeah, but Marigold Leaf likes him. Nope. Oh, no. I was incorrect. Not uh, only... Marigold Leaf likes Moss Trot. Not only That's does he who... dislike Trouble, he also He's is jealous, jealous of yeah. him. It was Moss Trot I had in my head, not Trouble Fox. I see. Maybe it's, like, the small amount of, like, crush that Moss Trot has on Trouble Fox. <laughs> well, I Don't mean, there's a way to me. fix that. You know me way better. <laughs> there's a really easy way to fix that one. Just like uh, Mud Paw. Hey, Mama. Chestnut! Hey, Chestnut, could we work something out together? What if instead we just make some relationships worse? <laughs> we can do that. Show off uh, Chestnut's true potential. <laughs> Fidget Dapple wishes they could get their pelt to shine like burdock paws. We, we need to make a chart. We need to figure out who has the shiniest pelt. So <laughs> like, it's a logic problem. Absolutely. It'll probably start, like, um, contradicting so itself, it, though. If Fidget, uh, Fidget Dapple's pelt is less shiny than burdock paws, but, uh, Bramble Kestrel's pelt is more shiny than Burdock Paws, and Moss Trot's pelt is less shiny than Fidget Dapples, who has the right to be jealous? There's a good reason I'm not in elementary school anymore. <laughs> we, we made the nervous medicine cat. Oh, we are following Warrior's tropes. Lycan Talon can fix her. Okay, it's okay. Lycan Talon doesn't let anyone come out of her sight nervous. Lake and Talon is responsible, I'm sure. Well, actually, Sandpool I... I mean, the Sandpool wasn't trained by Lake and Talon, so come on, Lake and Talon, you can fix her. Yeah. You can fix her. To totally. I'm rooting for you. But I've yeah, got can some we evil in can my we get right now. um Ma oh. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh M Moss Trot and Marigold Leaf and check the allow romantic. They, they don't have to, but Marigold Leaf, it's okay, and you don't have to be jealous. Every second that we don't have kittens, I'm like, where are the kittens? We must, <laughs> we must fix this. We must alleviate this problem. <laughs> Obtain more kitten. The ancestors lived in a sheltered redwood grove, and it protected them from the elements and fed the prey that kept their kits dr and kept their kits dry. Moss Trout explains, but one day two legs destroyed their home with fire and monsters, and the cats of that clan scattered. Some, after many trials, found a cherry clan and chose a place that seemed familiar and safe. Also in the woods, just less red woods. Less tall. Yeah. I think they just humor everyone who says their dream is a vision. Is that scar on the tail, or is that scar on the muzzle? On the nose, yeah. I can't tell, because th th um, that, that looks like a little face, you know? Conditions? Like, th there seems to be something coming down from the nose. Uh, Scarred by frostbite. Scarred by frostbite, but it doesn't say where. I guess I guess the nose was involved, I, but now it just looks I, like Mary Gold, Gold Leaf is pouting all the time. Oh. <laughs> like, harumph. Tree Star thinks sleep quote was nice to them today. Tree Star also thinks mud paw is very helpful. <laughs> How you doing, mud, mud paw? Currently well, pulling a prank on Barry. <laughs> well, it's a really well thought out prank, you see. Of course, yeah. All right, loves his parents. Loves Tree Star. That's dead. You know what? No real negative emotions here. I guess because, um, Gold, gold Kid is dead. <laughs> originally, originally, like in our initial set list of cats, I'm trying to remember if anyone but Tree Star and Lycan Talon is still here. 
Oh we, no, we've got Tree Star, Wolf Fade, Rattle Spots. Oh, Wolf Fade count. and Rattle Spots were both in the original group? They were babies. Ah, yes, you're right. Let's see if you look at history, founding member. Founding members, you're right. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I guess it. Uh, I guess it worked. It out. worked. <laughs> they took it seriously. <laughs> Trouble fox and marigold leaf. I'm just. Yes, are you, are you no. doing, are huh? you do, no, mm -hmm. no, what, why would you enact this? Oh, look, they dislike each other now. <sighs> Causing trouble intentionally. Yes. See, this is why Moon is in charge of the controls. Um, because, because you never I, would. I don't enact enough chaos. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't Most mean... try, wait, wait. Well, Shaw confessed her feelings to me, I'll leave and they become mates? I only had you two talk once. Well, they were kind of getting there on their own, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Barry's married Trouble Fox. I don't think that's true. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean that's not true? Oh, oh, you said Barry is married, comma, Trouble Fox. Yeah, there was no. I heard there. Barry is married to Trouble Fox. You invented a word. I invented a word. Oh, you two are like maxed out. That yeah, is yeah. impressive. Significant love here. So much love. Mm -hmm. Oh man, is Garlic Paw the only kit that lived out of there? I guess so. Yeah. How Burdock Paw is jealous of Lycan Talon? Like, what are you jealous of? Of course. Of? Well, of course, her immense talents and respect in the clan. She has so much experience now. Hmm. -hmm. Likes uh, both Sandpool and Lycan Talon pretty evenly. But, um, you know what? Maybe Sandpool can go out on a patrol with their daughter. That would be lovely. Nope. Not oh, lovely. Terrible. Shivering. Frostbite. No. Sometimes nothing good happens with those, like, other clans, and my, my clan will just be at war for moons and moons and moons. That's really unfortunate. To the point where I'll just forget we were ever at war. Time to be evil. Mediation. Evil time. Evil, evil. No, uh, we don't have to be evil. evil we can do evil, something evil, nice. Evil, nice. There are evil, so many evil. things that we could do that are... What? Oh. Yeah, yeah. What's nice? There's so many nice things you could do. There, there's so many other choices you could make. And I'm just making the wrong one. With the- with the- oh. <laughs> <sighs> Rattle spots is recovered. Hey, nobody got their tail cut off. Chestnut returns from Sleet Claim with a plan to resolve their issue for good. See, a Chestnut is a fantastic mediator, and if you actually let them do their job properly, they could improve relations with everyone. Hmm, hmm. They could be the clan hero for all the clans. I see. They'd be amazing. Trouble Fox is stuttering while speaking to Mudpaw. Uh, yeah. I tend no. to have that effect on people. Uh, yeah, because it's hard to know what to uh, 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 say uh, when you're confronted with uh, Mudpaw. <laughs> Bumbleflame hopes to dream of Marigold Leaf tonight. Oh? Uh, sorry, but you're, you're um, your brother there kind of Kinda mm -hmm. did that part. <laughs> Hilarious. Bubble Flame doesn't like chestnut. What? Why would anyone not like chestnut? Because chestnut keeps making him hate people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <gasps> okay, a couple moons ago, Rattlespots was thinking about how interesting Wood Tiger's life would have been and how many stories you must know. And now Wood Tiger is bestowing wisdom onto Rattlespots. Yeah, Wood Tiger likes Rattlespots a lot more than Rattlespots likes Wood Tiger, though. <laughs> Chestnut wants to get to know a lot of cats better. But can't. But can't. Did we put Berry and Tree Blossom together just because they're both pretty? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like us. Sounds like us. No dislike on the entire first page. 
slightly inclined to romantic like on Moss Trot, who is married. Yeah. Slightly inclined oh, towards his, uh, his uh, husband, too. Very slight um, dislike on Bugdon. He dislike on Bumbleflame <laughs> for no particular reason. Dislikes Tree Star. I don't really blame him. Yeah, Star's not necessarily the greatest of all role models. Notice the question is whether or not Sandpool has given, uh, or the Star Clan has given Sandpool prophecies lately, not whether Star Clan has given Lycan Talon prophecies lately. Bugdon, who are your friends? Not Bumbleflame. Bramble Kestrel? Bugdon did not hate their mentor. And otherwise. <laughs> kind of got this, like, little brother thing with Mudpaw right Sociable now. thing. Bert, Bert Splash just kind of got the, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, kid. This is really funny. He is giving advice to Moss Trot. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Moss Trot is sitting there and nodding. <laughs> uh, Moss Trot. I noticed that when you hunt, sometimes one of your paws is slightly out of place. Maybe uh, okay. you could pick it up a little bit higher when you're uh, stalking through the you undergrowth. Don't just a tip. Up, you don't want to pick up your paws any higher you just, you because just then you might- shuffle so much when you walk. I don't shuffle. You make I so pick... many leaf crunching noises going through I pick up my undergrowth. Like I pick up my paws tall enough that they will not startle the leaves, but you don't want to pick them up too much or your strides will be too long. <sighs> just no reasoning with old people. They always think they're right. You're ten moons old. Wow, Brita Paw's doing great. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I believe in you, Brita Paw. <laughs> You're gonna do great, honey. Sandpool doesn't think that Brita Paw's been completely honest lately. To be fair, she's in a lot of pain and is under a lot of stress. We now have two pages of cats. Look at that. Yeah. What you just told me makes no sense, kid. <laughs> no, you did not have a vision from Star Clan Mudpaw. Don't fail me now, random patrol type. Come on. Mosspaw. Mosspaw? Mosspaw 2.0, join the clan. Oh my gosh. And Mosspaw is already there with yeah. uh, Fidget Dapple as a mentor. Very Too bad. Cute. Mosspaw is adorable. I almost clicked on Mudpaw. Where's Mosspaw? Oh my goodness, can, she is adorable! Can we change Mosspaw's name? Uh, sure. You know there's a random option, actually. We can just I, click I'm fine one. with random. Uh, just to not Moss. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Sure. Starling Paw. Let's go. She is very cute. That is adorable. I love her little chest spot. <laughs> The little chest spot, the little foot spot, the little tail spot. The little turn back foot. There's even one right above her nose. Yeah. Which cannot be seen because her nose is like kind of a dark gray color and her fur yeah. is like brown. But, but she oh, has well. a little nose spot. She is so cute. She's adorable. Fidget Dapple gets another apprentice. Wow. Well, Fidget Dapple was a fantastic mentor the first time around. Mm hmm. All right, what do you want to do with the mediator, Sonny? I think I'd actually like to intensify the Birch Splash and Mud Paw friendship going on. Birch Splash always listens to me. And decided to just keep them there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Burdock Paw's grave? The what, huh? No! <sighs> no. Oh. Well, at least, um, at least we still have Mudpaw. Mudpaw is the only one left. No parent wants to outlive their child, and Sandpool wails over Burdockpaw's body. Sandpool can't handle the vigil's entirety. It's far too agonizing. The loss has taken such a toll on them that they can barely find their footing as they stumble to their nest, wailing for Burdockpaw. Mm. That's miserable. That's okay. awful. Yeah, I didn't notice it was so far down here. Yeah. So she's pretty and aloof. Yeah. Mudpaw wonders what's, how Starlingpaw is doing. Your sister just died, Mudpaw. Which kits. Bramble hm. Kestrel. Uh, you know, the young apprentices are basically still kits. I'll be nice to kits if they don't exist. That's really <sighs> sad. Tree Star... 
I found the problem with the kits thing. Because <laughs> the kit deaths are worse. Yeah, I know you're feeling down. No! Oh! <laughs> Imagining what it would be like to be a warrior. I'm <laughs> feeling happy! <laughs> <laughs> well, Pebble Stripe. Pebble Stripe was non binary. Yeah. They they just died too quick from our perspective. Mulkla is judging Barry. He's <laughs> judging Barry from above. That's great, Mulkla. Pina Claude is also doing great. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are so upset about. I love Star Clan. <laughs> Pina Colada wasn't even in our clan long enough to care. <laughs> I don't think I drew Pina Colada. I think I, I just drew to a gravestone because it was that said R.I.P. Cat dead too soon. Yeah, something like <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Acting hoppy and pebble stray. You deserve it, Ebony Splash. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. At least people in Star Clan remember Fron Fickle. I remember Fron Fickle! Sweetie. Man, if they didn't die, they probably would be a warrior soon, too. Yeah. Oh, Spruce Stripe, I forgot you. Yeah, Malarore is uh, the generated Star Clan guy. Yeah. Uh, but Spruce Stripe is curious about uh, it. Uh, mm -hmm. wait a second. I know every other cat in this ancestor pool. Who in the world are you? Malarore. Yeah, okay, Roar, but the only but, cat that I haven't asked out. But who? I I kept a very careful track of who was in the clan and who was a potential romantic prospect, and you were never there. Uh, let's let's send the the, the apprentices out yeah. together because um, they were curious about each other. Exactly. And Fidget Dabble could train them. No, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> Do not scare me like that. Been a while since Wolf Fade and Rattle Spot spent time together. It's true. Right? One one of you has been sick a lot, off and on. Oh. Uh. They got nothing done. I don't even care. You guys have had a traumatic moon. Tells like in talent about how he begged Starkland to give his daughter back. Sixty-two moons. Fidget Dapple saved Trouble Fox from a fox, but was hurt. Cherry Clan welcomes Mud Fluff. Mud fluff. Mud fluff. Oh, mud fluff. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here mud he fluff. is telling off everybody in the clan his entire <laughs> life, and then he becomes mud, mud fluff. fluff. You can't even say that it was Tree Star just not caring about him. This is his son. This is his only remaining living son. Okay, but maybe he was mud like, fluff. I need to teach this kid a thing or two. He yeah. needs a really embarrassing name. <laughs> the, the, this is where the, the uh, discipline comes in here. <laughs> hey, Mud Fluff. And Garlic Fur. So, Mud Fluff has been honored with honor, and mm -hmm. Garlic Fur has been honored with a heart of gold. I'm glad you were able to become warriors together, because that could have been really hard. Yeah, at least two of them made it out of this this hellhole. <sighs> like, if... I, I really thought after the stuff in our last play session that the the, the worst of it was over. Mm -hmm. Kitten death is bad. Can't Kitten death it. feels awful. Once to you, Sentry. Sweetie. Oh. <laughs> Six months, you'd be an apprentice today. You two would be apprentices. Well, they would have been warriors today, both of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You would have become warriors today. Weed Kid is watching over a clan oh. ceremony, probably one of them being mud, the warriors. Mud fluffs, yeah. Mud fluffs and ginger furs. And mud fluff. First lonely patrol. They get a mouse. They sure do. Um, Starling plot Paw, um, maybe with Bugdon instead? Let's 
said wolf fade for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that's okay. that's wolf fade for you. <laughs> yeah. We really got a lot done today. <laughs> oh wait, uh, mediation. Mediation. What do you want? Mmm. Mm. Uh, Starling Paw and Mudfluff. Uh, mm. Star mm. Mm. Starling Paw and Ginger Fruit. Garlic fur, you mean? Gar oh my gosh, did I say Ginger Fur again? Garlic fur. I was like, wait, who's Ginger Fur? Wait, uh, ginger Fur is not a thing that exists. Uh -oh. oh no, what happened? Chestnut was bitten by- Chestnut's dead? Well, see you next time. <laughs>